I'm ready. What up? Let's get to it. It's the Warriors music. It's the ultimate warrior. It is. Look at that. The ultimate warrior. What is he doing? Is he going to attack Hogan? What is going on here? So the Minnesota Vikings final injury report. Good news. No one declared out, but some players questionable. Let's get to it. A Caleb Evans calf. A calf injury he has been battling with since Broncos week. He was limited. Hopefully he will return. Versus those scandalous Chicago Bears. TJ Hawkinson ribs. We know, like I said before, this will probably be an ongoing all year, the rest of the season thing. It takes ribs, you know, a kind of a long time to fully heal. But he's been showing toughness, determination, and grit, playing every week, battling it out. Respect to him, respect to Hop. He was limited as well. Justin Jefferson, we all know about the hammy. He was limited. Questionable as if he plays or not plays me personally. I think he should sit out, calm it down, relax it. But, you know, at the end of the day, it will be his decision. I feel like the smart move will be sit him out until the bye week. And then, you know, let him return versus the Raiders if he's ready. Let's get to it, though, man. Brian Asamoa, great news for him. He was a full participant all week, correct? He'd been battling an ankle injury. But the fact that he was a full participant, <laughs> he might be on that field finally. I've been saying, where's B.A.? Where's, where's Brian Asamoa? The Vikings can utilize his speed, skill, agility. I'm sure Brian Flores will put him in the best positions, right? Heavy. Yeah, so it's great news to hear Brian Asamoah was a full participant in practice, and he should be playing Monday versus them scandalous Bears, baby. Jaron Hall, concussion, he was a full participant. Great news for him, you know. Good to see him bounce back. Then you got Nick Mullins. He was battling a back injury. He was a full participant as well. Great news as well, man. Heavy, hands down, man down. Now, <laughs> let's get into some of the... Uh, Major intriguing matchups, most intriguing matchups, right? Off top, we know what it is. Trenches, trenches, trenches. That comes with the territory week in, week out. That will be the case. O-line, D-line, we know what it is, man. On the offensive side of the ball, a lineman block. On the defensive side of the ball, trenches attack, stop the run, heavy. I don't have to get into, oh, the Bears stats, who they are as a team, et cetera, et cetera. We already know. Once again, so the top most intriguing matchup will be Justin Fields versus the defense. When I say defense, I mean in general as overall defense. Can they contain him? Can they hit him in the mouth like they did when they first played? Knocked him out the game. You know, D. Hunt was on a hunt. DJ Wanham did his thing. Secondary, balling, linebackers. Overall, great play. Now, the second half, they had a little bit of a collapse, but that's the big question. Can they keep it going, right? Can they shut Justin Fields down? Because guess what? You stop Justin Fields, <laughs> you stop their whole offense. He really is their offense, right? Heavy. So that's the first intriguing match up, the defense versus Justin Fields, baby. Then you got the cornerbacks. You had them cornerbacks versus Moore, their best receiver, right? He's been balling the whole season for the Bears, a great trade for him. You understand? Not on the, you know, doesn't have the greatest team, uh, greatest line, et cetera, et cetera. But he's still been balling, putting up good numbers. So they will have to slow him down, neutralize him. Secondary, I'm sure the Bears will be in attack mode. Heavy, look for them to pass more than they do run. Bottom line, and right now, the pass defense is the weakest point of the Vikings, if you ask me. Let me know how you feel about it. Heavy, <laughs> 1,000, man. But yeah, no doubt. So it starts with stopping more, man. Shutting him down, putting the clamps on him. The other receivers, you really don't got to worry too much about, you understand? They really don't make too much noise. So if the Vikings can stop him, you know, secondary play well, perform well, or they can force a turnover, it could be an easy night for the Vikings. They could have a dominant victory, a dominant victory, baby, heavy. <laughs> you understand? You dig me? You get my drift? Uh, last but not least, man, period. KOC versus the Bears defense. Can he coach a full four quarters? Matter of fact, that might that might be the most intriguing matchup. Heavy can KOC finally coach a full four quarters? What a great way to start a great place, a great night to start prime time Monday night, baby. Rivalry game, division game. The Raggedy Lions lost NFC North all in the mix. Vikings all in the mix, baby. Let's get it. 
But can KOC coach a full four quarters? That's what it comes down to. Can he handle his business? He always looks good first half. What happens second half? That's the big question. So how will KOC perform, dog? I don't want to hear about the Bears being trash, ass, whatever. They're still an NFL team. They still play you tough. It's still a division game. And guess what? The fit division games are always tough, no doubt. Hands down, man down, huh? So that, that's really probably the most intriguing matchup. KOC coaching the full four quarters, scheming, dialing it up, not going stagnant, continue to put points on the board, huh? Versus versus Chicago Bears defense that uh, not only is playing better, but has all their starters in the secondary back as well, baby. So they will be prepared and ready. The Bears always bring it. They always fight no matter what their record is. And I expect nothing less Monday night, dog, period, bottom line. <laughs> you understand? So that's my take, my opinion on it. Final injury report. Top three most intriguing matchups. The Vikings must win, must get a victory, right? Playoffs right there. NFC North right there, man. We'll see how it turns out. Let's get to it. You know what it is. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you know when I'm on and rock and rolling. Takes less than one second. Support the grind. Support the channel for real. Shout out all my big dogs, my subscribers, my supporters. You are much appreciated for life, huh? Never forget it, man. <laughs> Heavy, man. Big score here. Score Vikes forever. Yeah. 1,000. 1,000, huh? <laughs> yeah.